Now, there's a new story on The Athletic about Carlos Beltran. Okay. That he really was a kingpin with the Astros. So in this story by Rosenthal and Drylick, the guys who have really pushed the story forward, uh, he writes, During the season, small groups of Astros discussed their misgivings. Brian McCann at one point approached Beltran and asked him to stop. Two members of the 2017 team said, he disregarded and steamrolled everybody, one of the team members said. What do you go if you're a young, impressionable player with the Astros and this guy says, we're doing this, what do you do? Beltran did not respond to a request for comment. Half a dozen members of the 2017 team interviewed by The Athletic for the story spoke only on the condition of anonymity. So Beltran was a big part of this. So how could he be a big part of it and gets nothing? He got fired by the Mets, but Major League Baseball at least on the record, didn't have anything to do with that. Members of the 17 Astros used various terms to describe Beltran. El Jefe, the Godfather, the King, the Alpha Male in the building. Beltran was 40 that season, capping off a 20-year career, seeking to add to his Hall of Fame resume. No other person in the Astros' clubhouse carried the same stature, including McCann, who was 33 that season and a less accomplished player. So, I mean, just I mean this really does bad. really implicates him quite a bit. How can a kingpin not get suspended? Beltran retired after the 17th season, a world champion for the first time. Less than two months later, he returned to one of his former teams, the Yankees, as a special advisor to Brian Cashman. By that point, paranoia about illegal sign stealing had reached a fever pitch around the league. A good portion of that paranoia was directed at the Astros, and the Yankees already held suspicions about their seven-game loss to Houston. One Yankee official said, whenever we would ask what the Astros were doing down there, Beltran would chuckle and say, nothing no one else is doing. Two other former Yankees with the Astros, McCann and Joe Espada, who took over for Cora's bench coach in 18, essentially would say the same in casual conversations with their former club. But Beltran, according to one team source, divulged particulars of the Astros scheme to certain low-level Yankee officials, providing confirmation the team was justified in ramping up its efforts to combat sign stealing. True to his reputation as a savvy observer of the game, Beltran also admonished the Yankees with his ability, or astonished the Yankees with his ability to determine through video, legally, which of their prospects were tipping pitches. While his information proved useful, his overall impact was minimal, some with the team say. And then Cora, in, Eng in England, when the Yankees took those two games, I was joking with somebody that the Yankees' biggest free, free agent acquisition was Carlos Beltran. Cora said with a big wink, I know it works, you know. He's helping a lot. They're paying attention to details. We have to clean up our details. So now, the point about what you've been making, Don, how do you not punish the players? This guy was the kingpin. Right. Well, obviously they couldn't do anything to him because he was a player at the time and protected by the Players Association. Or it Carlos gave up all the information that he was the primary source. Right in getting uh, Crane and Hinch and the general manager, Lunau, suspended. So I'm either to think that he was protected by the Players Association or he was their main source of information. The most fascinating part of that story is that McCann went to him and said, we have to stop, and he, he was steamrolled him. That's how much power he had. And, I, and that also he leads does. something to what, I, what somebody told me about the Astros in general, that Hinch knew he could not stop Cora because Cora and Beltron were like a team in this. And Hinch knew that if he made a big deal out of it, they're winning nine out of every ten games, the push would have been no. And yet he's the one that gets suspended, and they don't. Yeah. Doesn't that... that well, doesn't... Cora's going to get suspended. But still, Cora deserves to get suspended. Yeah. When are we getting that Hinch from the Hinch couldn't stop Athletic. No, when are we getting the Red Sox full information? We're supposed it to get it early this week, so either today day. or tomorrow.